Sup Loop community, my name's Edge. I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer. And today, we're gonna get main stage to work with Track Rig. Okay, so we've got our main stage project here. We've already done the work of importing all of our tracks, setting up our layout, and kind of lining up all of our tracks to be responsive to Loop Demis over here. Uh, if you wanna know how to do that, we're, we've actually got a video specifically about getting this project set up. But what we need to do is that we need to set up uh, Track Rig as the main audio device for main stage. So to do that, we're gonna go to Preferences. The keyboard shortcut for that is Command, Comma, or you can click on the main stage name in the toolbar at the top, click on it, head to preferences, click on audio. Great. So in here you can see I've got my audio output and I'm gonna wanna go ahead and send this out to Loop Community Track Rig. Great. Now Track Rig supports a lot of different sample rates for sending out playback. And if all of you're doing uh, is sending out playback, then you can set this up to as high as 96 kilohertz if you want. So the choice is up to you what you wanna work with. The, the higher the sample rate, the higher the fidelity. But if you're working with 44.1 kilohertz, setting a higher sample rate really isn't gonna change uh, the quality of that sound. So maybe I'll just set it to 44.1. And then we'll hit uh, apply changes. So I'll, I'll close preferences out. And I'm gonna go back to where it says main stage in the toolbar, head down to preferences, and then now I'm just gonna select IO labels so that I can label all of my outputs. So if I've got my main left and right, I can double click on output one, name that left, double click on output two, name that right. And uh, if I want to then kind of create specific channels, then I can go ahead and do that. So for my output three, maybe this will actually just be my click. For output four, I can set that to be my drums. Output five will be all of my bass uh, sounds. Output six will be all of my synths. Output seven will be sound effects. And then output eight will be any extra stuff. Cool. I've also got some stereo outs as well. So if you wanted to kind of group your tracks uh, by stereo, then you could do that as well. So. Let me go ahead and close this window out because now when we go to output, we can actually go ahead and, and output them right from the channel strips. I actually don't need to see the edit view, so I'm gonna hide it by uh, going to where it says view and then hide workspace. Great. So this will give me access to all of my outputs. And if I wanted to send all of my different outputs to different places, so this first track, for example, is a synth. If I wanted to send that out, I can click on it, go to where it says output, I, this is a mono track, so I can say mono and send this out to all of my synths. Great. Same thing with Crisis Enough. If I wanted to send this out, I can go to output, go to output. Now, this particular track is still a stereo track, so if I want to make use of all of my individual outputs, I'm going to have to switch this track over to a mono track. So to do that, it's not hard. I can go to playback. I can just switch it to mono it'll switch the file, it'll start playing it again too. It's the way that I've got it set up. And now when I go to output, I can go to mono and I can say uh, since, for example. Great. You can do multiple tracks at a time as well. So I'll, uh, I'll need to switch all of these over to, um, to mono instances. And then my outputs, for example, if I wanted to send these all out to their, their stereo coupled pairs, I can. Or again, I can say mono and then send it out to say, for example, um, you know, my extra or my drums or whichever one makes the most sense. Right, so that's how we can get main stage and track rig to work together. Thanks a lot, see you next time.